Hello world and greetings from the Galapagos. We love it here. Okay, a couple things about the Galapagos that made our trip so wonderful. Number one, family. My parents flew down and met us in the Galapagos, which was wonderful. We had not seen them for about a month and we used to see them all the time, of course, and so that was really special. Number two, it is even more incredible than you might imagine. The different species of animals and how comfortable they are because they have no fear of hunting or being killed by humans because they're so protected. They just tend to feel comfortable around people. So that was really amazing. The difference between all of the islands, we went to a few different islands and the geography and the animals, it's just so different from one place to another. The Galapagos is not a cheap destination, but it is much less expensive than you might be led to believe. You do not need to do the super expensive, all-included tours. It's very doable as kind of do-it-yourself travelers, booking things along the way and keeping the cost down. So, highly recommend the Galapagos and uh, just check out these clips, they're great. Thanks, see you next week. San Cristobal Harbor was a perfect spot to start our Galapagos experience. Sunny day, walking along the waterfront, and then wham, look at all these sea lions. Sawyer was fascinated by these, listening to them bark, watching them climb up and down the stairs. And a little later on, Sawyer and Eric got a great lobster experience. <laughs> Here we are at the tortoise breeding program. Lots of babies in these cages. And out here we have the toddlers. They've graduated from the cage. But they're still in a pen. The Galapagera de Cerro Colorado was the first spot where we viewed giant tortoises. And it's really incredible to see them up close, see them in the wild. They also have a captive breeding program here at this particular reserve. So they're raising tortoises right from the egg and then keeping them in cages and then in pens as they get larger until they're finally out. So this is a really special spot. Uh, we also got to see them feeding, which was pretty wild. Uh, it's about the most excited and fastest moving you will ever see a giant tortoise. The views uh, from Puerto Chino Beach up and down the coastline were magnificent. This was the first spot that we would see so many sea lions in the wild. They just were all over the beach, waving, moving around, and just unbothered by people. Jean's hanging out with a seal on Puerto Chino Beach. <laughs> Tree! 
Las Tijeretas is a great snorkeling spot. It's about a half hour walk just outside of town and you come down these steps, drop into the water and you're just surrounded by marine wildlife. Turtles after turtles, so many fish, sea lions that live right in the cove and come out to play with you. It's such an amazing spot that National Geographic showed up to film uh, just as we were leaving. the first of two collapsed volcanic craters. These used to have a dome of rock across them and then as the lava underneath cooled and contracted, it left the space and over time that rock roof collapsed. Yeah, I hope we don't get stuck and it's called the Paw Patrol. Yeah, he's doing it. Good job, Sawyer. Well, here comes Paw Patrol. Army crawl. Yes, here he comes. Army crawl. No problem. Daddy head, daddy head, I'm the stick. Here comes your daddy. Don't hit your butt. Here comes the worm. Here comes the worm. She can't. 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 And perhaps one of the coolest, it's a large piece of private land that has around 3,000 giant tortoises walking around. And you just put some, uh, some mud boots on and you just start walking. And as long as you keep your six foot distance away, that's all they really ask. So you can see these giant tortoises out in their natural environment, watching them eat, watching them feed, walk around, watching them kind of joust with each other for position and dominance. So it was really a great day out there in the wild. Yeah. 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 Is it? Yeah, it, it was just room. Okay. Yeah. Hi, Martha. Now we're gonna name it Max. 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 Hi, Max. Hi, Max. He's eating grass for something. But what do you call his name? What do you think? Uh, the fish market in Santa Cruz is a happening place for the people, yes, but also for the animals. There's a number of frigate birds that are flying around hoping to snag some scraps. 
and check out the pelican and the sea lion getting fed right from behind the counter. The Charles Darwin Research Center on Santa Cruz Island was another special visit. It was uh, another time where we saw a captive breeding program and giant tortoises. It's hard to believe, but they are a subspecies, so every island has a different species of tortoise on it. It was also the first time that we saw marine iguanas, so that was pretty exciting as well. It's a tortoise party at the Charles Darwin Research Center. Oh, look at that. 